guys! Today's video is going to be my June favourites. Thought I'd better remember to do it before I went away to London and I forgot last month's as well so this is sort of going to be June and May combined really. I've been using much the same products both months to be honest although there are some things that I've only been using this month but they'll just all go in it'll be fine. I'm going to try and keep this as short as I can because I do have a tendency to waffle on. First I'm going to start by mentioning a couple of mascaras which I've been using. One is the Revlon Grow Lashes and I think I talked about this last favourite. Looks like this. The formula is meant to help make your lashes grow longer. I, I did say this last month I think but I don't know if it does that. So it's a brilliant mascara for giving me long volumized separated lashes it really is my holy grail mascara and I've worn it pretty much every day this month aside from today and you can build layers of this and it doesn't go clumpy it's just brilliant it's my favorite and when this runs out I will be repurchasing something I don't often do with mascaras because I think there's so many out there on the market for me to try that I don't really get the point the other mascara I've been really liking this month is Maybelline Colossal Volume again it's got a fat brush I love the fat brushes yeah, I used to swear by it and then I stopped using it for a bit, I don't know why. But recently I've rediscovered it and I really love, I've got it on now and it just gives your lashes such massive volume and length and it's just a really fabulous mascara. I really recommend those two if you're on the hunt for a new mascara. My favourite eyeliner this month, pencil form, has been this one. This is like a double-ended one that came with one of my Urban Decay palettes but it's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This one's in zero and there's also Whiskey. These just apply like a dream, they're so pigmented, so easy to use, really easy to like smudge and everything, they're just the best liner out there and I do prefer it to my MAC ones, although recently I, for some reason I've just been using my MAC ones all the time, but I love this eyeliner so much. My favourite foundations of the month have been MAC's Face and Body Still, which is just my favourite, this is N1. Whilst I'm up in London I'm going to get a new bottle of this because it's nearly all gone and also I'm going to get myself a bottle of the white so I can mix in and actually get a foundation that's my colour for once. The other one I've been using is the A1 Calming Effects Illuminating Foundation, which is the one I have on now. And this again, light face and body, is pretty sheer, but it just evens out my skin tone, gives me a lovely glow to my skin. It's a really lovely foundation and one of Avon's best products in my opinion. Concealer, I have been using my Lacura Concealer. I've got two, I've got one that's in Savannah and one that's in Cashmere. Cashmere is more pink tone, so it's better if you've got warmer undertones. Savannah is more yellow, so it's better if you've got cooler undertones or you want to hide a lot of redness, although it's not super yellow. My face is not very yellow at all, although the rest of my body has got a yellow undertone. But I find this perfect to use on my face because it's just the right amount of yellow. It's more neutral, I'd say. It's a really good concealer. It won't conceal things like spots, etc., but it's great to use under the eye area to hide your dark circles, etc. It's just brilliant. I've also been using my Derma palette a lot this month, and I'm going to have to get another one, one of these up in London. So as you can see, it's mostly all gone. Um, this shade here is my most used one. But this is just a brilliant thing. I think it's by Cryolan. And if you can get hold of one of these, they're brilliant. And you can use like the darker ones like this for doing contouring and stuff. The powder I've been using this month is the MAC Set Powder in Invisible. And this is for professional use only, so I do think you can only get it out the pro shop. However, if you can get your hands on one of these, I really recommend it. It's a dream to work with, really easy to use, it never looks cakey. It's just an all-round brilliant powder and it is my favourite. Another product I've been loving this month is the Illamasqua Satin Primer. For days when I want to keep my makeup on all day, the Illamasqua Matte Powder is in the same packaging. It's brilliant for people with oily skin, it's the best one that I've tried, personally. Plus it smells really, really good. But for me, I can't use it because my skin's so dry already that I want to be adding moisture in, not taking it out. So I use the satin one under my foundation. Or sometimes if I just want it as a highlight, I use it over my cheekbones because it just gives you the most beautiful glow to your skin. It's lovely. I really, really recommend this. And Illamasqua is my favourite makeup brand. I just think they're wonderful. And this is a wonderful, wonderful product from them. Blush-wise this month, I have been using my cream blushes more than anything else. I tend to stick with cream products and cream blushes are just my all-time go-to product. And this month, my favourite, as always, is my... NARS Multiple in Orgasm. This is just such a beautiful colour. I wear it with almost everything. Not so much a red lip, but it's just gorgeous. It's such a great product and it was really expensive. It was, I think, about £27 just for this, but I've used it loads and there's still absolutely gazillions of it left, so I really recommend this product. Another cream blush I've been using a lot this month is this one by MAC. It's called So Sweet So Easy and it's this beautiful, like, pink when it's on your skin. You can't even really see but it just gives it a beautiful pink flush. Sometimes I find with Max Cream blushes they're really pigmented which is great but if you put too much on it's a nightmare whereas that one's brilliant. Oh, 
just managed to stick my finger in it, the other one I want to show you. This one didn't want to come out of its palette, but this is called Something Special. It's a peachy colour, and you just get a lovely, really light peachy glow. And I actually had this on earlier today. I know it obviously wouldn't go very well with a red lip, but I got bored and decided to change my makeup. I also have a lot of single blushes that I use. You've probably seen these before. This is Max Lillicent, and it's sort of a reddy brown. This is the old formula. I think it's a bit more pigmented in a way. But that's Lillicent, so I tend to wear that if I go for more ready colours. This one is Posy, and it's one of my favourites ever. And it's just a really flattering colour. And then Lady Blush, which is still probably one of my favourite blushes. Again, it's pinky. I love my pink blushes. It's a tiny bit less pink than Posy. So that's Lillicent, and that's Posy. And then this one's pretty new. It looks like this. And it's called Calypso Coral, it's shade number 2, and it's just the most beautiful coral colour ever. I didn't really have a corally cream blush. I mean, just look at that. That's obviously really strong. But it's just brilliant. Got a bit much out there. The only thing I don't like about cream blushes, is somehow, every time you open them, they just end up getting fluff in them. Whether you want there to be fluff in them or not, which I'm guessing you don't. Another product I've been loving this month that's cheek related, and... I have to admit there is a lot because I absolutely love blushes. But it's this powder by NARS and it's Albatross. And I'd heard about this so much and that it was like a sort of cult item but I'd never really thought to buy it. And then the lovely Jazz went to America and I decided to ask her to pick me, um, pick me one up there because they're a lot cheaper in the States. And I'm in love with this. I wear it even though I don't have powder on it. I just shove it on the top and it's fine. But it's basically like this. It's a sort of a white gold and it's just the most amazing highlighter. It just gives you the most beautiful highlight and it's fabulous. I love it and I really recommend this if you're in the hunt for a highlight. I tend to use my cream colour base just because I like the juniness it gives me but this is just brilliant. Yeah, that brings me into my next product which is my cream colour base in Pearl. It looks like this but I really recommend this. There was so much fluff in it I've just had to take all that out. What a waste. So to demonstrate it's brilliance, I've just put a load of it on the back of my hand and just look how dewy and glowy and beautiful that is. It's just brilliant. It's amazing. This video, by the way, is just going to be the makeup products. I'm actually going to do a separate one for hair care, nails, skin care, etc. Because otherwise it's just going to take too damn long. I've been loving my pigment in vanilla this month from MAC. I've worn that a fair bit. I have actually got it on now. The colours that I've mainly been using this month are mostly all MAC colours I have to admit. Vanilla as always is just my go to highlight colour and I wear that pretty much every makeup look. Satin taupe I've worn a lot. And then in the other palette, I've been very fond of a moody brown eye this month using MAC colours. It's been probably my most worn look. So all this top row here have been used. Oh and also I've worn mulch a lot and woodwinked. I absolutely love woodwinked. I just wish it was more of a wearable colour for me. And also gleam down the bottom. I've worn that a lot. I've mainly been using my MAC palettes just because, I don't know why, but because I can see them and because I know what's in them, they're just sort of my go-to safe options. Although I've also used this colour a lot ever since I've got it. This is another one Jasmine picked me up in the States. It's Steeler's Kitten Eyeshadow which is just this beautiful soft champagne. I'm obsessed with anything that's champagne, so this colour is right up my street. Also, Max Dalliance Eyeshadow. I've worn that loads. It's just the most beautiful colour ever, especially when you pair it with satin tape in the crease. It's wonderful. Another champagne product has been the CoverGirl Intense Shadow Blast, which has been really good for a quick fix. But I've worn this if I've been feeling really lazy. It's this one here. And I just wanted to chuck something on my eyes for a little bit of drama, whatever. And that brings me on to my Bobbi Brown Metallic Longwear Cream Eyeshadow. And this is in brown metal and it looks like this. This is my product of the month. So many times I've worn it when I've not had time really to do anything. I've only had time to do eyes. And I've just shoved this on over the lid with nothing underneath. And then put a bit of mascara on and been good to go. It's a wonder product and it's brown metal and I've also got gold stone which is this one which is more goldy although I haven't worn that as much as I've worn brown metal okay and I'm now going to go into lip products because I do realise I've been waffling for a very long time you're probably very bored the lipstick I have on now is Max Ruby Woo I haven't worn it a lot this month but it's been one of my favourite things that I have worn this month if you know what I mean reds always scare me because I always think that there's a time and a place for them and it's quite rare for me to have the place. Where I live is not very fashionable and if you went out wearing a red lip in the street you'd probably get some funny looks. 
I love Ruby Woo. It's just the most brilliant colour. And it's this really nice matte red. The EOS lip balm has been a lifesaver for me. Although I think I became too reliant on it because now my lips are really dry and disgusting. Which can happen if you use lip salve too much because it gets used to it. The first time I tried this I was like ugh. It has quite a waxy texture that I'm not used to but it's a brilliant, brilliant product. And I love the packaging although it does remind me a bit of a baby bell. I was quite disappointed with this month's glossy box I'm not going to lie. But this nail polish is... This nail polish? This lip gloss is by Rouge Bunny Rouge, which is a brand that I'd never tried before um, because it's really expensive, but it was in the glossy box and I actually really like it. It's a brilliant colour. The colour of this is Secret Places of Love and it's just a pinky, peachy colour with sort of gold sparkles in it. It's lovely. Max Strange Potion Lip Glass has been worn a lot this month because it's just ideal to chuck on over your bare lips. Hue Lipstick, this is my unused one. This is just my favourite lipstick of all time and it was one of the first lipsticks I ever bought. In fact I think it was the first MAC lipstick I ever bought and it's just the most fantastic pinky nude. It's wonderful. Gemma Kid lip gloss. This came out of a magazine, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was probably red. But this is a high, high shine silk touch lip gloss in 17 petal and it's a really nice pinky neutral colour. And it looks fab just plain on your lips or over the top of something. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits here on the makeup. I always find these sorts of videos really difficult because there's just so much that I could mention. But these are my favourites for this month. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go film my favourite nail products, hair products and skin products now in a different video because this one would just be so long and you'd be so bored and I'll be so bored. This will probably go up first and then I'll put the other videos I filmed today up later. Like I said, I'm off to London tomorrow. Yay, I can't wait, I'm going back to Muse and I'm so excited. But I'm staying at my uncle's so hopefully I'll have internet but I'm not sure if I'll be able to post because I've never been there before. So, if I see you in the week, get on. If I don't see you, have a great week and I'll see you when I get back. Bye bye.